This is the Douglas dive bomber made prior to the World War II and all during the war. That was our main dive bomber airplane in the Navy. The SBD Dauntless. It was one of the best in the world. It could dive almost straight down. These are the speed brakes on the airplane. They only apply these when the airplane is in a dive. They apply them in conjunction with the landing flaps, which of course slow up the airplane for landing. The two of them together are dive brakes. Slows the airplane in a dive so that it does not go into compressibility, where the flight controls become inoperative. Between the two of them, the pilot was falling faster than the airplane, and the only thing that held him in his seat was the shoulder harnesses. Adrenaline was really pumping on you then, and uh, it was difficult to uh, make all the considerations that you had to. You would have to have your airplane very stable with your rudder. You would have to have it stable with your ailerons, and you'd have to have it steady on the uh, dive. They had a man in the back seat and he was a machine gunner and he had twin 30 calibers back there. He kept his tail uh, clean and he's the one that uh, kept the enemy airplanes from getting too close. I'm Bill Watkinson. I flew this airplane in 1943 and I have been the pilot on all these airplanes in World War II.